Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will simulate the SR latch also known as the set reset latch using multi-sim tool. Before that, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. The two input refer to as set and reset inputs and the two output are denoted by Q and Q bar which denotes the present state of the latch. Let us start the design and the simulation. So click on file, click on new, select the PLD design template and click on create. Select create empty PLD, click on next and then type PLD design name as SR latch and then press the finish button. Now click on place logic gate and select two input NOR gate and place two different two input NOR gate on the schematic window. Now connect the output of NOR gate 1 to one of the input of NOR gate 2. Similarly, the output of NOR gate 2 is connected to one of the input of NOR gate 1. Next, click on input connector. This would be the input for our SR latch. Place two input connector and name this input connector as R input and S input. Connect the input S to one of the NOR gate and connect the input R to one of the NOR gate. Now click on place probe and this would indicate the output of the SR latch. So select any one of the probe and place this probe on the output of NOR gate 1 and also similarly place a probe on the output of NOR gate 2. You can change the label of the probe if required for your convenience purpose of the design. Now to simulate the SR latch, we have to place a digital source. So click on digital source and select the interactive digital constant. Place this interactive digital constant on the schematic. So we have to place the interactive digital constant for R input as well as for the S input. Double click on key space and change the value to S and R respectively. We can change the value of the input when we click on the key R and S. Now 
Now you can see the SR Lush truth table. So let us run the simulation. Now when the input of SR Lush that is S and R is equal to 0, the output of the SR Lush will remain in Q and Q bar which means that the next state of the device is same as the present state. So the output doesn't change and the present state is retained. Now let us assume that the input applied to R is 1 and to S is 0. This would result in the latch being reset. Now even if the R input returns to 0, the latch will remain or retain in its present state. Now let us say that the input of S goes high and R goes low, then the latch is set regardless of the present state. When the input goes high on both the S and R, this causes the output of both the NOR gate to become zero. So if one input should return to zero before the other, then the final state of the latch is determined by order in which the input has changed. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.